Hello everyone, my name is Dobson Boudreau and today I'm here joined by Peter Johnston. Uh, he's here to share some of his world views, shed some knowledge and give some informational sessions in his new upcoming show, Outside the Box. Good afternoon and welcome to Outside the Box. My name is Peter Johnston and I've spent most of my life outside the box and that's where I intend to stay. And so today I'm showing you how to eat in a method that a lot of people would think was outside the box, and that is eating sprouts. And Becky is here to ask uh, relevant questions about sprouts, and I will fill her in, and uh, uh, you guys will learn how to do sprouts and also how to eat them. I'm gonna make lunch here, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So. Becky, have you any questions about, what questions do you have I about have sprouts? many questions. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the first question is, how long have you been eating just sprouts? sprouts? I don't eat just sprouts. Okay. Uh, I, I use, I'm a vegetarian, right. so I eat uh, potatoes and carrots and peas and that kind of thing. I'm living fairly frugally at the moment because uh, I'm in the process of building my, <laughs> building my place, so I haven't got all the normal amenities, so my diet is a little restricted, but I eat a lot of, uh, today I'm going to produce a wrap with sprouts. I also eat a lot of sandwiches with sprouts on them. Um, they're delicious. I usually put some other stuff in them, such as uh, these are dried blueberries, wild blueberries from Ile Madame, whatever, and uh, they're delicious. The great thing with sprouts is that uh, when a seed is sprouted, and these were some I started yesterday, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but they're just starting to sprout, and these are four days old and ready to eat, and these are a mixture of um, alfalfa and broccoli, and I like to mix them because they're tasty, and they both grow at more or less the same speed and also it's been suggested by various different research that um, eating broccoli every week will uh, reduce uh, the chances of a man getting prostate cancer. But anyway, uh, uh, time for another question. <laughs> wow, I'll be interesting. That's interesting. So now I, I'm a complete novice. Right. Okay. So you grew these overnight. Well, these some of them. Well, these ones. You this. This is what you're talking about. Well, you well, where do you get where do you get the sprouts to begin with? Well, actually, nowadays you can buy a lot of them in the supermarket in the oh. bulk, in oh. the bulk seeds such okay. as you know you can you can get chia and stuff like this. Um, I get I usually order them online because they there's a wonderful company Canadian company called Mums Mums Seeds. You can Google it M U W M S. But there are lots of other companies too. Well, not that many in Canada, but there are several. And they're all good. The people who do this kind of thing are all good people. So, they, so the service and the prices are really good. And a bag like this and a bag of alfalfa um, will run you about $40, $45. And it'll give you salads for a year. So it's really cheap. Wow. It's really cheap. In keeping with your minimalist lifestyle, that, that helps. <laughs> well, m being a minimalist means, although I've got a minimal income, <laughs> I've got, it's more than enough. Well, it's awesome. great. It's great. So how, how, okay, say I was going to buy some, and I was going to get a bottle at this size. Right. How many would I put in, and what, well, would I add anything to this, it? This, this is one tablespoonful of alfalfa seeds and one tablespoonful of broccoli seeds, and that'll end up like that. But do you put water in it? Yes, you oh. water it twice a day. Just like okay. Just um, like in the in the morning, you you can see these are these are just little squares of screen. Right. You buy the screen in a Canadian Tire or somewhere and cut it up in elastic bands. And uh, all you do to once you've decided you want to sprout them is that you soak them in the jar for between three and six hours. Say it doesn't matter if you go a bit longer. Uh, with the broccoli, you shouldn't go too much longer because it's uh, it's better if it doesn't soak too long. But for you, you it's it's very relaxed. It, like you soak, you j all you have to do is cover the seeds with about an inch of water, and leave it for three or six hours or whatever. And if you forget it till the next day, it's probably not going <laughs> to make any difference. And then twice a day, in the morning and in the evening, usually, um, you rinse them out and you rinse them 
by just filling the, uh, putting enough water in it to cover the, st the growth, and then you tip it out again. Right. And, that, and, and then you leave the jar t in the sink like this so that it drains it out, out because yeah. you, don't, you don't want water to puddle in the bottom of it or it'll right. promote mold and things like that. So it's, it's really easy, and there's no weeding, no soil, no <laughs> pesticides or anything, and it's totally organic. That's very cool. And it's really cheap, and it's really good for you. I mean, it's, it's really healthy. I mean, I'm in good shape for oh, a 74-year-old. Well, you are doing pretty good there, Peter. I must and admit, uh, probably the, doing better than most people well, the in, guy, their, in their 60s, 50s and 60s. Well, the heavy equipment operator that was doing some gardening for me this morning, um, he says, uh, he said, Jesus, he said, you're running around like a kid. He said, you're in better shape than I am. <laughs> and he's 20 years younger than me. Well. But he's a heavy equipment operator. Well. And that's not a healthy thing to do every day. Well, but I... But it's better than a lot of jobs. Well, <laughs> my, 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 uh, th the significant other in my life is a long-haul trucker, and he weighs 131 pounds. Well, there you go. That's where I weigh. So he's, he's exact... He's he, smart. Well, he... Well, I don't know. He oh. just doesn't gain weight. <laughs> uh, he's smart because he has me, Peter, but that's hey, besides that's the point. Well, behind every... We won't tell behind anybody. Behind every good man. So what is this? Oh, this is uh, these. I bought these long because they're different ones. These are these are called crunchy bean mix. It's again by the same company. Um, you get if you order from them online, you usually get it within three days. And uh, this is a crunchy bean mix. So it's delicious, but I didn't start it till last night, so it's right. So it's, so not, it's not really ready to go. So it would be the same. The same method, right? Yeah, it exactly. The exactly. Same. No, every, so everything's it's the same. The same method for all of them. All of them. Um, I'm going to do an episode on making crackers, because I make what I think are brilliant crackers, out of, out of just seeds, just seeds and water. And I usually put a little flavoring in them, because I like a little flavoring, but basically it's, I make crackers, and uh, you sprout, you sprout the seeds. Oh, that's another episode, but that's basically uh, what I'm going to do. Um, so. Is it filling? Uh, well, I tell you what, during the program, I'm going to make a, a, a wrap. And I'm going to try it. And you're going to try it. All right. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You're and, on. <laughs> and it is quite filling, but it's kind of like uh, Southeast Asian food. In other words, it fills you up and you feel full, but you don't feel heavy full, and after an hour or so, you're probably ready for another sandwich. <laughs> Yeah, but that's that's actually the best way to the eat. best way to eat little bits at a time. Absolutely, that's one of the things I like about eating Asian food that you don't have that feeling. I don't like that feeling. Absolutely, you know, and then you, f <laughs> it's very uncomfortable that feeling. I well, find. yeah, I like to feel light. Well, yeah, <laughs> light. <laughs> oh, I'm wired. It makes here. you makes you dance better. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it makes you dance better. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> it's great. Well, any other questions? Um. So oh, you, wait a minute. You you asked me how much did I eat? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I usually eat uh, with these sprouts. I usually eat um, <laughs> probably three or four good sized sandwiches a day, or or a wrap. Uh, wrap's good because uh, it's not uh, not leavened. <laughs> so I usually eat three or four sandwiches or stuff, and I'd, so I'd I'd go through that in a day. I'd go through that in a day. But you don't have to eat it in something. You can just make a salad out of it. Like, um, you say you put half of this in a bowl and then put some uh, olive oil and vinegar or something on it or salad dressing. And uh, Well, you can, dump, you can put it on top of a regular salad. You can put it anywhere. You can put it on, of course. Mm -hmm. And of course, I've done that's, that. That's I, how most people would use yeah, it. I like alfalfa sprouts, actually. Most people would actually use it as a garnish mm -hmm. on, on their salads. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to... Uh, um, I, sometimes I put dried blueberries on them. These are wild blueberries from Il Madame. Wonderful. Where did you get those? Uh, out near the... You picked them? Yeah, out near oh. the lobster. Back. Oh. I, oh, I picked, uh, I, cool. oh, I picked a freezer for them. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm, I, I need to know the other berries, too. You see, <laughs> Il Madame is a great place to, for food, oh, even for a vegetarian. <laughs> have you, so where have you found... Uh, what have you found? Anything different since you've come here that you hadn't seen before? Or? Wild blueberries. <laughs> you really never had them? I, I've eaten them because <laughs> I eat I, my standard breakfast, which I am not able to do at the moment because I don't have a freezer, which is where I keep my berries in. But my standard meal 
um, breakfast is a bowl of blueberries and almonds. Mm. And that's what I have for breakfast. So almonds are really healthy, aren't they? Yes, they are. And I remember reading a long time ago that Edgar Cayce, um, the, the famous American spiritualist, uh, he, he said that if you eat almonds every day, you won't get cancer. Well, I've already got cancer, but that's okay. I eat almonds every day, and it's not getting <laughs> any worse. So, so that's partly why I do it. But almonds are very healthy, and of course, it's, uh, it's very dense. It's a very dense food. It takes, in a way, it takes the place of, uh, of meat in my diet. So uh, nuts and things like that. So that's what I do. And, and uh, I'm hoping the blueberries are going to be good this year. But well, there's other berries, there. too. There's they other berries, oh, too, yes. and I need to know about them. I mean, for instance, there's... Blackberries? Oh, I love blackberries. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Raspberries? Yes. And there's cranberries? Yes, there are. And Lots of cranberries. And bearberries? Do you, yeah, know where, do you know where to find all the cranberries and all the? Uh, uh, Randy told me that near his place is a bog, and he said that that's full of cranberries. But I didn't get to it last year, but maybe this year. Well, there used to be, just up the street, there's an old, an Anglican church. Right. And there's a little road that oh, goes right. up behind, and there used to be so many cranberries back there. Okay. I don't know if there still are. Well, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, because like, there used to be a lot of cranberries back there. Yeah. I don't know if anybody still goes, but I'm sure they must still oh, be Oh, yeah. There. Well, Tammy's father, Paul, goes out because I bumped into him several times. He said, <laughs> when he met me, he said, oh, you're that damn guy who keeps picking all the blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're supposed to be talking about sprouts. So. Um, so, so, yeah. So now, I didn't know, now, for example, like, I mean, I, I had to read up a little bit and try to learn something, but I'm not, you So, know, you, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. But so, I didn't know that broccoli... Was a sprout. Well, it's, if it comes, if it ha if there's a seed, it's it'll sprout. So anything, anything can sprout that's a seed. Uh, yeah. Well, this company, Mums, uh, uh, this is what they specialize in doing: is producing seeds for sprouting and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They've usually got about forty-eight different seeds on the catalog. So, do you eat flowers? No, but I would. <laughs> I would. Uh, I mean, dandelions, I think, could probably be really good. Well, I mean, they make wine out of them, Peter. I suppose that... Well, uh, and dried dandelion roots supposed to be very healthy, too. You know, the, I, mean, I mean, I'm Mr. Nature. I'm, uh, well, I want to be. I want to be Mr. Nature. You're, you know? you're want to be Mr. Nature. <laughs> I've always wanted to do what I'm doing now, and now that i retired and become a minimalist, and so I have enough money to do what I want, and, and I'm in Cape Breton, where the, the people are so friendly and helpful, and... I'm just having the uh, time of my life here. So have you visited any cool gardens? Um, no, I actually, I, sp I spend most of my time working on my land because right. there's a lot of work to do there. But anyway, I think it's probably time I made a... I think you should. I think, I I think should I'm make ready, Peter. Rat. Yeah, um, okay. Now I'm wired in here. Hang on. <laughs> I'll stick... You can take that with you. I'll stick that in my pocket. Perfect. And uh, we'll make some lunch. Okay, we're going to start off with, the, obviously, with the... Peanut butter. No, this well, is no, almond not, butter. Almond? Um, crunchy almond Where butter. Did you I get, actually don't eat peanut that? butter. Where did you get that? You have to go to Hawkesbury. That's um, okay. We go there often. Yeah, <laughs> no, the, the great Canadian superstore or whatever, the first one it, you come yep, to. You Atlantic know, Superstore. Market. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. No, wait a minute. No, no. You can get it there, but it's cheaper next door in Walmart. And I know I shouldn't go to Walmart. <laughs> oh. But I do. I get these at Walmart. So there you go. I mean, I'm not a fanatic. Well, maybe I am, but. <laughs> well, that's anyway. Another, that's another segment. <laughs> okay, that's another yeah. segment, Peter. Okay, so I'm going to spread some of this lovely crunchy almond butter on here. And, uh, you know, this is. Uh, I did wash my hands before I started this, although I must say they're kind of stained. That's all right. <laughs> Well, it's mainly just shows that just because you're working, Peter. It's mainly tree sap. Oh, which is uh, that's edible too. When we were kids, we used to we used to chew tree sap, tree sap, and make gut like yes, we used to do that. Well, the balsam is yeah, yeah, the balsam balsam gum. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now that's that. We're gonna put some dried blueberries in here. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of this in here just to pep it up a what little bit. What is that? Curry. Ooh, just, that's, just that's a nice addition. It, just to give it a little bit of flavor. <laughs> that, that's a nice addition, Peter. Well, uh, personally, I I 
usually put even hotter sauce on there. I've got there's some stuff That's you also you spent get. time in Mexico. <laughs> there's some also some stuff you get uh, at the Great Canadian Superstore called Montego Bay mm -hmm. jerk sauce. Oh Ooh. my God, beautiful! It's too hot for most people. <laughs> you see, uh, th I've got very poor taste. I mean, I am literally, officially, a man of very poor taste, and I <laughs> I've been told this several times. <laughs> in my life. But the thing is, you see, I, uh, uh, my cancer was non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in my eyelids. Really? I think I, I think I got it from tree planting because tree plant the trees, little seedlings are in covered your eyelids. In. Pardon? In your eyelids. Well, you see, the trees that you tree planting, they come in boxes and little seedlings and stuff, and they're drenched in uh, fungicide. They're drenched. You open the box and the mushroom cloud goes up. Wow. And uh, I've planted trees for twelve years, and wow. of course uh, you you're pulling out the Stuff, you're yeah. covered in it, you yeah. know, and, and, and so I, I got a long Hodgkinson lymphoma, and because it was in my, in my, on my, around on my eyes, when they irradiated me, which I wouldn't let them do now that I know more about it, mm -hmm. um, when they irradiated me, they kind of knocked out my sense of smell, mm -mm. so I'm, I don't have much taste either, so I put hot sauce on everything. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just looking for something. <laughs> Ah, yes. Secret weapon. What is it? Dry roasted. I usually do it with sunflower seeds, but I didn't have any sunflower seeds, so these are pumpkin seeds. They're dry roasted and then sprinkled with uh, soy sauce. Mm. So, uh, once again, it gives If one them. must eat uh, pumpkin seeds, I think that's the great way to, to do them. Yes. Oh, I'm dropping them now. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> the mice will like it. Oh, my daughter's a vegetarian. She would just love you. Oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> she, <laughs> she would. <laughs> She's actually coming to visit in a few weeks. I'll have to bring her. Maybe you'll be around. Oh, I will be. Yeah. I'm not going to Mexico till November. Oh. Wow. There. Well, let me see. I'm going to try it. Yeah, you better have the plate. Well, I think. Why, you think it's going to be messy, Peter? Well, well I'm a messy I eater. I think the blueberries yeah. might drop out, you know. Mmm, that's good. In fact, it's very good. It is. It is mm. really good. And it keep, and by the way, there's a lot of fiber in these. So that's it's really good. So <laughs> it keeps you really regular, mm -hmm. which is really good, mm -hmm. of course. And mm -hmm. so it's a very healthy thing. That's nice. And it's quite filling, mm -hmm. actually. So I can see that it would be. Yeah. I didn't know that. This is how ridiculous I am. I didn't know that uh, this was unleavened. I yeah. don't know why I never thought of it. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a silly thing. But for a person, you know, I'm always trying to lose weight. We've been... <laughs> oh. Oh, another plate. Oh, look at that. There. What service. There you go. <laughs> so I really didn't... I've always been trying to, you know, lately especially, I've been trying to cut back on a lot of things that I eat. I'm trying to lose some weight. So, you know, I'm trying to uh, cut back on bread and cut back on... So, I could probably go to wraps and be better for me. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, unleavened bread is, is actually... Because I have problems yeah. with things like drinking water. I don't drink water. I'm trying to. Well, I drink a lot of tea, but then I'm a limey, so what do you expect? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but actually, when it comes to diet, there's w one thing you can do that's more important than anything else... It's more, it's more important than not eating meat. I mean, you know, obviously, um, I, I don't eat meat, but if people want to eat meat, that's fine. Uh, they shouldn't eat it three meals a day. That's ridiculous. If we were hunter-gatherers, we'd eat meat probably. If we had it once a week, we'd be doing really good. So, you know, we should, be, uh, we should attempt to live more like our hunter-gatherers. Mm. I agree with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. I find that... Um, I'm getting to the point where I just don't want to eat meat. Yes. Because it's just, to me, it's a pain. It's, it makes, it's messy, it covers everything in grease, it's not particularly good for you, it's getting expensive if it's processed, even if it's not processed, it's got nasty stuff in it. I mean, believe it or not, the Chinese are refusing <laughs> to take Canadian pork. Now, I know that's for political reasons, but they're using as an excuse the fact that it's got um, growth hormones in it. Mm. Or you mean to say Canadian food 
won't, is not good enough for the Chinese? Whoa, that's a change. But it's, it happens to be the case. I mean, you know. This is really good. And uh, yeah, <laughs> well, it's really cheap. It's, yeah. Mm. It's really, uh, but I was, uh, uh, I sidetracked myself as usual. I was saying about what's the most important thing you should give up. You should quit doing, and it's sugar. Mm -hmm. Sugar kill, kills and injures more people than tobacco ever did. Probably twice as many. I mean, n 99, 990 people out of 1,000 eat a lot of sugar. And I quit eating sugar actually before I got cancer, but that's, uh, but it's, uh, I'm very glad I did because actually, uh, um, because I was done, I probably had cancer, I probably had the cancer for two or three years before I was diagnosed, so I probably actually quit eating sugar just about at the right time because I quit eating sugar four or five years before I was diagnosed with cancer. And uh, I'm in, I, it's, it's not progressing. And I, I'm convinced that the sugar is the important part. And uh, once again, you know, if we were hunter-gatherers, we'd eat fructose. We wouldn't eat fructose every day. The fructose is the type of sugar that the liver likes to convert to fat. Because when we were hunter-gatherers, we would camp under a tree that was ready to harvest, and we'd eat the whole damn thing. And our liver would convert the fructose to fat to get us through to the lean times coming up ahead after the trees had finished producing their fruit. And so fructose <laughs> is the type of sugar that our livers like to turn into fat. And all our food is full of fructose. It's not even real fructose. It's, it's synthetic. It's made up using, I believe, hydrochloric acid and corn syrup. It's, it's just nasty stuff. And it's in all our food. And we're all ill. I just can't figure this out. Well, maybe I have, to a certain extent. I figured it out for me. And what I'm talking about is, is only what I'm doing. You, I, I'd like people to, I'd like to introduce people to this way of eating, but um, I, I, I want people to experiment and try different things and stuff and be relaxed and not uptight about their diet. Um, it, it'll take a little while to get used to eating this kind of food, but uh, Becky, this is the first time she's <laughs> ever had pretty it. pretty good. <laughs> and uh, you don't have to eat all the wrap because it's, it's kind I'm of I'm enjoying tasty. it. Good. There you go. <laughs> We've got a first convert. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as I was saying, more important than any of this is don't eat sugar. And that means don't put sugar in anything. Don't put sugar on anything. And anything you buy, for a start, you really shouldn't buy processed food if you, if you can avoid it. Uh, this is easy for me to say because I'm single. If you've got a family, you've got kids. Yes. Don't add sugar to anything. Don't put sugar on your cereal or anything. And when you're buying food in the supermarket, look at the ingredients. And if sugar is mentioned in the first four or five ingredients, don't eat that food. I mean, this requires a certain strength, and don't eat this, that food. And I also mean not rush it over to the coffee shop for, uh, you know, a cinnamon bun or something every, <laughs> every day. I'm guilty. Uh, I know, I'm guilty. I know, I know. I used to eat a lot of sugar when I was a kid, and I loved it. And I loved it. then all of a sudden, I started getting interested in diet, and um, I quit eating sugar. And I'm convinced that that's one of the reasons I'm in such good shape. I, and I am in good shape for my age. And well, uh, I've cut back on sugar considerably. Yeah. The well one thing I have to break habit of um, going to the coffee shop and getting sugar in my coffee. I don't really need it because I actually can drink coffee without sugar in it. Yes. I, I always could. But that's the same with me. I, I don't know why I'm doing I that. I used to put sugar in my tea in England. And then my dentist in England, this was in the 80s because I was back in England during the 80s. And my dentist said uh, I was working as a fl flooring installer, uh, so in residential, in people's house, houses, and of course it was in England, so I was drinking tea. a lot of tea, because in England, when you're working in people's houses, every, every hour they give you a cup of tea or two, and um, I was putting sugar in it. My dentist said, uh, you drink a lot of tea, don't you? Because, uh, you know, I told him I was a floor layer and stuff, and I said, yeah, and he could tell that because of the, the staining of my teeth, basically. But he also said, he said, do you put sugar in your tea? And I said, yeah, I put a, usually a one or one and a half teaspoons of sugar. He said, cut it out, stop it. He said, stop eating sugar. And he was an old guy, and I figured he knew what he was talking about, and I was getting interested in diet and health and all that kind of thing, because I really 
and certain you can um, control your health and stay and, and keep healthy by watching what you eat. I mean, you are what you eat. And then so the de my dentist told me to stop eating sugar, and I did, and now I hardly ever go to the dentist. And uh, I'm feeling good. And it'll take, if you quit eating sugar, it'll take uh, three or four weeks, and then all of a sudden you'll go, wow, I, I've got a lot of energy. Uh, I feel really good. And the reason for that is, is because when we're blanketing our body with sugar all the time, it's, um, you're actually overwhelming the body's energy system. I mean, the body has a fantastic energy system that takes energy out of its food, out of your food, of course. And, uh, but if, oh, I've, I've. No, I've keep going. Yeah. You're talking about <laughs> energy when you don't yes, eat sugar. Yes, that's right. It, it, if you, when you eat a lot of sugar, it overwhelms the body's energy producing system. It doesn't, no longer has to produce all this energy uh, from its food because you're giving all its, this shortcut to energy by giving it all this sugar. So you eat all this sugar, which you're told gives you energy, but you're also told, of course, that you get the, the sugar crash afterwards, which is true. But, um, and so you, you really need to stop eating sugar and you really need to be careful what you eat. And then that's what I do. And it, I'm it gonna pays stop off. eating sugar today. Excellent. And I'm gonna see I'm going to, in three weeks' time, I want you to ask me, Becky, how are you doing with your energy? Yeah, your energy level will go up. I mean, I've got ridiculous energy for my age. I moved 200 tires in two days last week. I walked out of the woods with 200 tires that were on my land. The, the <laughs> previous guy that owned it had lived there. And I couldn't, I had to carry them out of the woods because it's all, it's too oh rough, no. too, too many trees to use wheelbarrows or anything like that. So I carried 200 tires out of the woods uh, That's cool. this week. And I had to take the, I, it took me two days. And, and I had to, after the third day, I did have to take that third day off. <laughs> I did have to admit. <laughs> you earned it, Peter. <laughs> so I, I sat in the. You did earn it. Yes. <laughs> you, did. you did earn it. Yeah. I, I don't know that I would have enough energy to even carry two tires. Well, <laughs> I, I've, been, I've been doing that all my life. Yeah, yeah, that's well. what I do. But anyway, so there you go. You, I love you it. Love, you love it. I do. I do. I really love it. Okay. I'm going to. I'm going to actually. I'm going to. I should give this to Gilles. Or something. Yeah, Gilles yeah. and Dobson. Yeah. We'll yeah. we'll let him try it. See what he thinks. Try, come and try some of this stuff. Try yeah. take the chair. I'll come in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, you have to know about this stuff because you have to deal with healthy, healthy stuff. It's good, isn't it? Mm. It is good. There you go. I rest my case. So there we go again. That's another episode of Outside the Box, and we've been eating out. We're now eating outside the box <laughs> as well. So that's great. So as I say, another episode of Outside the Box. My name is Peter Johnston, and uh, I will see you again soon. I hope. Thank you very much. <laughs>